Hey guys, today I'm here to do one of the BJD Addicts prompts. When I do these prompts, I'm not doing them in any specific order. It's just kind of what I feel like doing that day from, you know, whatever is relevant to my life at the time. So today I'm doing prompt number 27, which is all about doll wigs. And the reason that I'm doing this prompt specifically is because for Christmas, my fiancé ordered me a, um, a tiny Delph Dorothy. And she's been sitting under the tree for about <laughs> three weeks now, and it is driving me absolutely bananas. Knowing that I have this beautiful doll sitting, you know, wrapped up all nice, and I can't, <laughs> I can't get her in for another week now, but it's not long. Anyway, um, yesterday in the mail I got her wig, and it kind of inspired me to do a video about doll wigs since I was kind of um I was kind of shocked by how how good the quality was I mean I guess for the price it should be but anywho I only have three of my dolls down and I'm not gonna get the other ones down just because for the sake of making this a little bit easier on me and not so time consuming half about half of my dolls wigs are my cat is on the table. About half of my doll's wigs are synthetic fiber, and about the other half are fur wigs. And most fur wigs are pretty similar, so I don't need to kind of do a comparison between all the fur wigs. But, um, I'm going to get started and do like a little breakdown of all three of these. Um... I have another video that I did about Whisper's wig when I first got it, but since then... I've gone a little bit happier with it. Whisper's wig is from Leek, or Leeke, or however you want to say it. It was a limited color, I think it was called Bright Ivory, that they don't make right now. I can't remember the cut. Oh, sorry guys, I can't remember the cut. But it's like the perfect length, and the perfect color, and it is an incredibly soft, soft wig. The only complaints I have with it are, as I mentioned before, um, in certain spots. See, it's like so thin that you can see the cap underneath it. Which, with some like styling and brushing, it's not too noticeable. But sometimes it like shows through as like dark spots. It shows up a little bit. But I love it on her. It's pretty much exactly what I had in mind. So, are Leek wigs worth the price? I would say yes. I like them. Um, I think I would definitely prefer having one of them for their price than waste my money on something that doesn't look good. And that's just my opinion. But, moving right along, we have Carjo from Dear Mine, and he is wearing the wig that came with him in his full set. It is a fur wig, and, you know, I started a thread on DOA about fur wigs because they seem to have this, like, stigma of not being that great or not looking nice or whatever. But I actually find that they're easier to style than fiber wigs. Like, I can do more with them. I can spike them. I can lay them down flat. Or, you know, part them different ways or whatnot. Um, fiber wigs, you know, you, they, you have to, like, do a bunch of things to them to get them to look any different. And I just find styling them as a pain in the butt. But for, like, 10 to $20, usually around $10, fur wigs really aren't bad. And on little anthros and tiny dolls, they, they look quite nice. Um, they don't really look realistic as far as you know, real human hair goes, but I think they're cute. <sighs> My cat is in the Christmas tree. Oh, so aggravating. If anybody wants to leave, like, a tip about how to get a cat out of a Christmas tree, just on a quick side note, um, that would be so great, because, I mean, it's so ridiculous. And we've, like, tried, tried like, spraying him and spraying the tree with different stuff, and I really, 
<laughs> I really don't know what to do at this point. Anyway, moving along. We have Katya, and she's wearing a wig from Dear Mine also. She wasn't a full set, but if you ordered the this wig with her, it was like a discount or some something like that. And um, I think it ended up being $20. So let me kind of show you the back because this wig has such a pretty cut or pretty style or, you know. But it just flows so nicely. It like has like a, it looks straight from the front, but then in the back has this nice curl. Uh, it looks so nice from the side too. So pretty. But. The wig that I got, sorry for the camera moving so much, the wig I got for my tiny doll is a For My Doll wig. And I got it from a group order because shipping for one wig is $9. And I think that's crazy. That's like half the, the price of the wig. So I, I got it from a group order and it's really... A really incredible wig. It's cocoa brown and salmon pink, I think. And I thought there was only this one pink chunk in the wig, but if you like turn it around, there's like different pink streaks like all through it. It's it's really really pretty. <laughs> I was really pleasantly surprised with it, which is the biggest reason why I made this video. I can't wait to put it on her. But anyway, Okay, that's my little wig spiel. Um, not much else to say. When I get my little tiny Delph unwrapped, I will make sure to do an introduction video for her, but for now, I will talk to you guys later.